To my dearest journal, I have had a single-minded goal since I last wrote you. My only job right now is to defend the village and the people within it. Building the glass ceiling is the most tiresome job at current. I spend hours gathering sand to smelt, thinking I have gathered enough to cover a great expanse of space only to see that it has barely made a dent in the space of this village. It is huge. I am also concerned about the mountain outcrop that pokes out at the edge of the village. Any monster can climb atop it and clamber down to the villagers below. Eventually, I suppose I shall have to carve it away, although I dread the experience already and it has not even yet begun. I am fortunate enough that in between my journeys to and from the village, I am able to grow my library. With time, I will learn all there is to know of this world and I will be safe at last. With all the sand I am gathering, I am fast making a dent in the desert scape next to my home. Perhaps I could use the cleared space to build something, maybe a better environment for the chickens. Although I will say, this does seem like a lot of space for little chickens. Perhaps, if there were more animals, if I can gather the sheep from the village, this might be a good farm space for them. But we will see. I still need much more sand, and this space will only grow. On one of my journeys back from the village, something new had appeared. I have run this road dozens of times and I had never seen it before. But I had no idea what it was or where it had come from. What is that? And how have I never seen it before? Oh no! Oh no no no! What is it? Oh that looks... That... No, there's no way that was there before. I refuse to believe that. What? What? That... No! No 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 no! That wasn't there! Where is that? Have they just... What? Needless to say, I was more than a little surprised by the structure's presence. Eventually, I will have to build a sky bridge towards it and see what it is. Perhaps it is another village. I don't know. But for now, I just want to focus on the village I currently have found. And it will have to wait. For all I know, it could be abandoned. It could be from the gods. But something about it fills me with intrepidation and I want to protect the village first, and so that is what I will do. Whilst my sand smelted into glass, I decided to use this time to make a start on building a wall around the village and up my staircase. The brighter I can make this place, the better as well, as even at the bottom of my steps there is constant danger. My goal is to make this place light and bright as if it were its own sun. I feel as though the monsters are drawn to life. Both myself and the villagers seem to be constantly hunted at all times by them. And the only thing we share is that we are alive, and these monsters are undoubtedly dead. I wonder if perchance there is some way I can trick them into thinking I am dead too, but I just wouldn't know where to start. Wall building is slow and dangerous. Not to mention how frustrating it is to be constantly shoveling snow at all times knowing it will fast return. I am at all times covered in thick, dirty snow and even my bones ache for warmth. I will persevere, but at times it is tempting to simply curl up into the snow and let the cold take me. When the cold above becomes too much, I return to the depths of my mine. Building up a sweat and finding more diamonds helps me to steady my resolve and return once again to the cold above. Diamonds! This whole strip mining thing is awesome. Okay. Progress on the glass ceiling is slow, and I find myself working late into the night. However, I will say the glow of the torches and glowing stone of my compound reminds me of how far I've come in this journey. 
While wall building is a far more dangerous activity than the ceiling, I also feel it is easier to see the progress. I have to be exceptionally careful at all times, but I push forwards no matter what. Once the wall is built, I can help the villagers here to regain the warmth they have lost with the storm. They have shared many books with me, and in these books I see many correlations between their history and ours. But where our history became myth, theirs did not. Their book speaks of another portal. They do not know who built it, or why, or where it comes from, but this leads to the land of end they told me of before, and the great monster that resides there. They believe that with the death of the monster there, that the storm here will end and the skies will clear once more. Many of them have never even seen a clear sky. They are waiting for a hero to save them and all they got was me. So I try not to give them any hope. I am no hero, just a survivor. It takes me the better part of a month and the ceiling is far from finished, but the wall is complete. It is far from perfect, and the mountain is still an issue, but for now I have at least given them some protection compared to before. My goal now is to try and encourage green grass to grow where it can, in the same way I did back home. This will of course depend on the ceiling getting completed, but that will take even more time. I will also build a pen for the sheep, after I've settled the land some, and build paths between the houses. Eventually, when I feel the place is safe enough, I will deal with the mountain. But. For now, I want to celebrate the small victory of the wall being completed and work on what I've got before I worry about another big task like that. Another issue is that despite the wall, the area is still dangerous. I wish I knew how they appeared as they do, but perhaps that is just the magic, or rather the curse, of this world. So for now, I will return to the glass ceiling that I can only pray will keep the villagers safe from the storm. Perhaps the next time I write to you it will be done, but I will not get too helpful. Decimating the desert will take time, but I am thankful for the space and the occupation it gives me. As I build, I will think of the land of the end, the monster there, and the hope of blue skies again. All my love, Rose. Thank <laughs> you.